welcome back to my channel as you can tell by the title and the thumbnail in today's video I'm going to be giving you guys an updated makeup collection video slash like vanity tour this was actually one of my first videos and it did really good you guys really seem to like it it was one of my most popular videos and so I saw someone request that they wanted an updated version and so I was like why not I've changed my vanity setup a bunch like since then um, I think before I didn't even have like a mirror so I'll show you guys that tell you where I got everything and then show you guys my updated makeup collection since that video there's definitely been a lot of makeup that's came out I even have some makeup that I haven't even like played with yet so I'm really excited to share with you guys I'm just gonna go ahead and get into today's video let's go ahead and go to my vanity if you guys are new make sure you guys subscribe to my channel down below and also follow me on all my social medias there always linked down below as well all right guys so this is my vanity i have this light on too let me turn that off for you guys i have like the star of the show is definitely the mirror i have my chair right here with the little fluffy rug so the chair is from ikea and the fluffy rug is also from ikea honestly a lot of the things that i have are from ikea the mirror however is from d corner sd i will link their instagram down below um i love their mirrors so much like i've always wanted like a vanity mirror that had bulbs all around. I really liked that look. So yeah, I always liked that look. So I was really happy when I found this one. I really like it. Again, you guys, I will link their Instagram in the description box for you guys interested. Uh, so yeah, this is what it looks like. This is my vanity. This is what the light looks like from the mirror. I legit don't have my ring light on right now. So this is what it looks like. It gives me so much light, you guys. It projects a lot of light. So I really, really like this mirror. Like I said, it'll be right here also in the description so on my vanity I just have my remotes um, for my TV and also for my LED lights that go around my room moving on to this side of the vanity we have this acrylic drawer makeup organizer this has basically like my everyday makeup then I have my brushes as you guys can see you just pull it out now all my brushes are here actually this is from TJ Maxx this I think is like for the bathroom for like your toothbrushes but i liked it because it was marble and so i just decided to put my brushes in there i have so many brushes from so many different brands um my most recent brush set is from colourpop and so a lot of these are from colourpop like all these are from colourpop i have a lot from morphe these are all morphe um just honestly jeffree star here i know he's canceled guys but i'm not gonna throw away the money i spent on his brand so yeah there's a variety of brands for brushes and then just here on the side i have my setting spray which is my favorite one this is the urban decay all-nighter setting spray all right now we're gonna go ahead and get into my everyday makeup honestly guys i do not wear makeup every single day obviously but when i do these are the products that i lean towards the most and these are just the products that are just like my go-to honestly like they won't fail me i just like to have this because it inside of here is just so crazy and I just do not have time to like rummage through everything you know what I'm saying so that's why I have the acrylic makeup organizer just to separate all right I'm gonna go ahead and get into it now so on the top two drawers I have foundation and concealers so the current foundations that I've been using are these two this one is the Maybelline dewy and smooth foundation Maybelline fit me and then also the hello happy from benefit these are my two go-to ones that I've been using recently I love them this one is kind of more on the higher end I guess and this one's definitely drugstores again a drugstore one and a more high-end product so for my drugstore one I use the Instant Age Rewind Concealer by Maybelline. You guys, li I literally love this one so much. I use this to carve out my brows mainly, but sometimes once in a while I'll use it like as actual concealer. But my favorite is the Tarte Shape Tape Concealer. I am obsessed with this. I really recommend it. Next, we have my go-to blush and bronzers. And they are both from Anastasia. So this is the Anastasia Powder Bronzer in Saddle. Looks like this. I already hit pan on it. That's great. And then the Blush Trio in Berry Adore. And this is what this one looks like. It's super pretty. I love this one color on the top most I actually didn't notice this before but I guess there's a theme where I have like a drugstore one and a high-end one depending on what I'm feeling or like what I'm doing that day so for my drugstore one it's definitely the fit me Maybelline fit me loose finishing powder for my high-end one this is the Laura Mercier powder and this is just the translucent one this is my holy grail this powder honestly changed my life 
um, other powders would like make me crease so much under the eyes. That is my powder drawer. Next, we have some like random things in here. So we have blush, highlight, and just more blush. Next, I have some beauty blenders. And then on the side of this, I have, this is a Morphe 2 again. Morphe 2 came out with a lot last year, so I was definitely really interested in how they performed. So I ended up getting a lot of their products, but this one is just a brow gel. And then I have other brow gels here. I use this clear mascara from Great Lash Maybelline. And then this e.l.f. one. These are my three products that I've been using for my brows. Morphe, brow, pencils. They're really cheap, but they're so good. And I love that they're cheap. So yeah, I've been obsessed with them. This is that. And then a new product that I've been obsessed with is the Brow Micro Filling Pen by Benefit. I use this in the front of my brows. It looks like a little felt tip marker. Next here, I have a cream bronzer by Maybelline Fit Me. If I'm doing eyeshadow, I like to use my MAC paint pot as a primer and this is just in the shade soft ochre and that completes everything that is in my everyday makeup acrylic organizer now I know what you guys want to see you guys want to see what is in the Alex drawers and I will show you guys again these are from Ikea almost every beauty guru has them and I really actually really love them so starting with the top I have quite a couple palettes up here already don't mind that some of the palettes are dirty I just really use them so this is the Morphe James Charles palette um, of course boosh I did a makeup look for Halloween one year and that's what that did so yeah this is super cute this is the Morphe 35B palette which is basically kind of the same it's just colors just like the rainbow I have a BH cosmetics nude blush palette this has 10 colors this is what that looks like. It's super pretty. Um, I actually should use these blushes a lot more often. And then um, last one up here is the BH Cosmetics Carly Bible Palette. This is what mine looks like. I actually really, really love this palette. As you can see, I attacked those highlighters. These are just the ones that I keep up here. Moving on to the first drawer. The first drawer is foundations primers and powders so what i'm gonna do obviously i'm showing you guys what's inside this drawer and how i organize it like this because there's so much makeup like i can't just like reach back there and i have to take things out i'm just gonna go through every little basket separately over on my vanity so yeah i have a smaller basket for my primers and like oils and stuff like that moisturizers and then obviously this big one for my foundations and then in the back we have a lot of powders all right guys so these are my primers um i have like two different elf ones um they're just face primers and also in this basket are also concealers that are not in my everyday um here's another elf one this one's a moisturizing stick it looks like this kind of weird i have a airbrush pour minimalizer i have like some oils that i have tried from different brands a cleansing powder i haven't even tried this product yet her no filter this one's new i tried it out recently this is smashbox photo finish i feel like you guys know about that nyx concealers as you guys can see so i have the la girl just regular concealer and then i have an la girl green one i have i don't even know oh this is just elf another elf one and this is the kat von d obviously this concealer is white this is kat von d one um i got this for halloween and i actually use it for a lot of looks that require like certain white looks like it's just actually useful um and it's a really good concealer so i've never tried the actual concealer like in my color but from that, it's pretty good. Next are my foundations. So, some newer ones that I have. Um, this NYX Total Control Drop Foundation. It has, it's so cute. It has like a little drop. It just drops out. Also like this one. This is the Morphe 2 that I recently tried. And I actually really, really like this one. I might have to pull it out again into my everyday makeup. You guys, honestly, I have just a ton. You guys know that this is my favorite foundation. This is also in my everyday drawer. I just have multiple. Um, Revlon. Here's a really good one, but it's really full coverage. This is the Becca. So yeah, I just have quite a lot. There's MAC, you guys, L'Oreal. There's just a lot. Um, but recently, oh, this one is like my absolute favorite. It's pretty much done, but I'm just saving it because I need to know the number I am so I can go get it again. This is a Milani Conceal and Perfect 2-in-1 Foundation. This one's really good. I really recommend that one. And also the Morphe 2 is really good too. This is a Well People Foundation Stick, which is super cool. Actually, I'm going to go ahead and put this in my everyday one because I want to try this out more. Moving on to powders. There was a time... Where I was just obsessed 
with airspun powders. Um, I hate them now, but I mean, it's like, you guys, like full powders, like full, like full. So I can't throw them away, but it's just, I guess I use them if I'm just playing around with makeup and you know, I'm not really going out anywhere just cause I don't like the way they perform. Like they, if I'm taking photos, they give a lot of flashbacks. So that's not good. Next is just Rimmel London, um, L'Oreal True Match. This is new, it's cute, like a banana powder. NYX, I didn't like this one either. This one I use is just white. I use it for a lot of Halloween looks and just special looks. What is this? This is a Laura Mercier. This is a baby Laura Mercier, but this is actually a setting glow powder. Here is another Laura Mercier full size translucent powder. Here's a baby Kat Von D translucent powder. I just have a lot of random ones, you guys, honestly. This big one is a wet and wild one. Those are my powders. So yeah, that was my foundation drawer. Next we have blush and bronzer. Starting off with blushes, the Dream Mousse blush is legit my favorite. And when I say it's my favorite, I mean it's my favorite. I am obsessed with these little blushes. I also have some Milani. It is like a rose and I honestly haven't even opened it yet. I opened this one but this one cracked so that's great. They're in the same shade. Oh, I also have um, highlighters in here as well. This is a Milani highlighter. This one's actually really good. A Wet n Wild highlighters right here. Another L'Oreal True Match. This one is also another Morphe one. This is a Maddie Ziegler one. This is in Pinky Swear. But you guys, this blush is like freaking clown blush so I don't use it but it's really cute and it's Maddie Ziegler so I just have it here in my collection. Here's the older one that was really really cute. I really liked this blush. This is in the color flush. This is a Bare Minerals loose blush which is pretty messy so I really don't gravitate towards it. Next are bronzers. So I have this bronzer palette. This is the NYX one. Um, I actually do not recommend this one <laughs> just because I feel like it's not easily blendable but it's like brand new so you guys I just keep it. Hula bronzer really really good. Look at that. This is the wet n wild one. Um, I think this is like has some shimmer in there. I think that's why I don't use it every single day. This is a liquid illuminator. I'm gonna put that in the other one. Um, another one, illuminator. Another one, oh my gosh. I guess I have, I mixed them. This is also a Becca champagne pop. NYC bronzer. These are like other brands, like a lot of e.l.f. Is this Physician's Formula? Yeah, Physician's Formula, butter bronzer, a baked bronzer. I have different kinds. It just depends on what I'm feeling that day. The next drawer is my lashes slash eyeliner slash mascara and a little bit of brow drawer. Now that I have eyelash extensions and I've had them for over a year now, obviously I do not really reach to this drawer as much. I have a lot of good products in here and when I don't have lashes, these are the products that I use. So yeah, I have some lashes. I have these, I haven't even opened these, Ardell ones. Our Dell Wispies. Um, my friend has a lash business, Lashes by Krista, on Instagram. If you guys are interested, look at how pretty these these are. Like, look how pretty it comes out. Super cute. And then I also have another set of our Dell ones. These are the mascaras that I typically use. Off the bat, I'm gonna just tell you guys my favorite one that I was using before I got lash extensions. This is the Total Temptation Maybelline mascara. I really liked this one, so this one's good. Also, it's messy. Like, sorry about that. But this one's L'Oreal. This is like obviously like a dupe to the Better Than Sex mascara. It's pretty good. Um, I have a whole bunch, you guys. Like Colossal, um, Maybelline is basically mainly the brand I use. Maybelline and L'Oreal, I think, have the best mascaras in my opinion. Like I have a whole bunch of mascaras. I have, these are all Maybelline. This one's Sephora, surprisingly. Look at how pretty the Sephora one is. It's like wilted. Um, Basically Maybelline, Smashbox in there too. I know, I have a lot, but I'm not even using these right now, so they're probably drying out, so that's great. So I have obviously a whole bunch of eyelash curlers. Oh my gosh, I forgot what these were called. I just, it's weird to me. I have some lash glue in here. Here are some eyeliners that I use. Actually, this one's really good, you guys. This is like a thick marker daddy guy, so yeah, he's really good. I like the marker felt tip eyeliners instead of like the liquid ones. Also, the Kat Von D tattoo liner is really good as well. This Milani one was pretty good. I like the felt ones instead of like liquid ones like these ones. Just because I 
suck at eyeliner, honestly. I also have some brow products in there, so like a Morphe um, brow pencil, a Anastasia brow duo, and then this new Tattoo Studio. I, I haven't even opened this. Let's see what this is. I don't even know what this is. I don't even know what I bought, you guys. I have a small problem. So yeah, that was my mascara drawer. I just don't use it right now, so I don't know. I'm not really updated with mascara and eyeliner. <laughs> Next is, ooh, we have some lip products. So we have some like liquid lipsticks and like glosses in here, lipsticks and MAC lipsticks in this one. Some of my favorites recently have been the Maddie Ziegler one. This one came with the blush that I mentioned earlier. But this lip gloss is actually really good. Libra Energy. Is she a Libra? I didn't know that. Um, that's really cute. That's a cute name. This one, okay, you guys are gonna freaking kill me. This is the gloss from Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson, but I actually really, really like it, you guys, and it smells super good. And I bought it, like, the launch date, so before they were canceled, so don't cancel me for that. Um, like I said, I've been obsessed with the Morphe 2 collection, you guys. So I have, like, a ton of Morphe, oh that's not Morphe 2, of Morphe 2 lip glosses. This is what they look like. This one is a face gloss as well, so like it goes on your cheeks and stuff, which I thought was so weird. And then these ones are just regular little lip glosses that I really liked as well. They weren't sticky at all. This one's another Morphe 2. This one's kind of like a chapstick slash lipstick, so I didn't know where to put it. This is a Sephora. It's so cute because it looks like a little potion. I think this is LA Girl, Stila. I have a couple of these. I have like five of these. Here's like, okay, here they are. Here are those. Um, yeah. Here's some more liquid lips, lipsticks, I think. Also this one. I always show this one. This is the Physicians Formula one. But just because it's so cute because it lights up, it's so cute. I don't know if you guys can see that because I have a whole bunch of lights on. Next are lipsticks, you guys. These are lipsticks and liquid lipsticks. I see some in here. So my favorite liquid lipstick product ever to exist is the NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade London, you guys. It's my favorite. It's so cute. I wear it a lot. I also have, this is the Jeffree Star and Shane Dawson collection this is the um are you filming which is actually a really 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 pretty red and i actually do wear it during the holidays so it's really good i like it l'oreal red lipstick Ooh, that one's rough um nyx what is this avon 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 that's really nice that's like a coral it's cute we had some mark jacobs in here look this one's a little baby one how cute i think i got that in like a set I just have random ones in here. Then I have my MAC lipsticks plus a ColourPop one. So in here I have a lot of lipsticks. So I'm just gonna kind of go through them kind of quickly. It looks like this. It's really pretty. This is Honey Love. I like it. Um, my favorite one, you guys, is Whirl. This is what Whirl looks like. And I have a lot of Whirls. I'm pretty sure this one's Whirl as well. Yeah, Whirl. I think I have another one. Pretty sure that's Whirl too. Ooh, this one's almost out. That's Whirl. Um, let's see. What is this? Oh, we have Heroin, you guys. That was a special purchase. Yeah, don't ask me about that one. I have, this is like from either, oh, the Lady Gaga. So they're like a whole bunch of random pinks, hot pinks. Um, oh, this one's kind of like a deeper one. That's cute. These... Lady Gaga collection. This is like a more red orange. I have a Selena one, which is my prized possession. Look at how pretty you guys. So pretty. This is a ColourPop one in Oasis. It's so pretty. And I've never tried a ColourPop one, so I decided to try it. Next drawer, we have more lip products, you guys. I have a problem. Chapsticks and lip balms here, um, for the most part. Lip pencils or lip liners, whatever you guys like to call them. And then some like liquid lip sets and then I have some samples here that I have never used but you know I'll use them eventually here are some of the samples that I have not used so this Kat Von D one this is like three lip shades that I can use I have some MAC ones that I actually do want to use I got this super recently look at Velvet Teddy Mocha and Hug Me I've never tried Velvet Teddy but I've always wanted to and then these are just Urban Decay primer potions and I guess there's different ones I didn't even know I thought there was just like the original one my last drawer is mainly palettes this one is the Mandalorian, the child palette, and this one is in Going Coconuts. Um, I have not gotten the chance to, I've used this one, but not this one. I kind of want to do this one for a video, so let me know if I should. I have the infamous Conspiracy palette. I know you guys are going to freaking kill me, 
but I bought it because I waited in line for this shit. So I ain't throwing it away. That's what the conspiracy palette looks like. I've used it a couple times and yeah, it's pretty clean. Um, I do love the packaging though. I can't I can't lie, you guys. I have some like BH Cosmetics. This is like a blush duo. These aren't just eyeshadow palettes. There's also like blushes and stuff. Oh, oh, that's beautiful. Love that I just did that. This is a Morphe 35O palette. If you guys are OG and you guys are really into makeup and have been for a while, you guys know how popular this palette was back in the day. BH Cosmetics blush and eyeshadow palette. This one's also really good. Guys, then I just have some random ass palettes. I have this one that like you can like put single ones in there, so it's pretty cool. It's magnetic. BH Cosmetics, like crazy palettes. Crazy palettes and stuff. Those are fun. Um, BH Cosmetics contour and blush palette. Back here I have like more singular ones and I'm not going to go through that guys. I'm sorry. Ooh, here's another Carly Bible palette that looks pretty. It's way cleaner than the one I have up there. Um, also, I waited in line for this Nicole Guerrero palette. Highlighting palette and um, I destroyed it. So yeah, it was actually super good though, like for reals. What is this? Missy Lynn BH Cosmetics. Um, and then I have like Smashbox, you guys, like OG palettes over here. Um, Naked 2. Oh my gosh. How iconic is that? Oh my gosh, you guys, this used to be my favorite palette. The Modern Renaissance palette. Oh my gosh, this one's so cute. I love it so much. There's a lot of like singular palettes down here and like you know, but um, like I said, I just do not feel like going through all that right now, you guys. But yeah, all right guys, I'm closing that drawer up. And we're back. Thank you guys so much for tuning in today's video. I have been wanting to do like an updated makeup collection for a while now, and then I just never did it. So I'm glad that I finally sat down, took the time to show you guys today. And I hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys enjoyed, give it a big thumbs up. Like I said, subscribe down below, and I will see you guys in my next video.